Hi, welcome back to the channel. If you've already been to the channel, thanks for coming back. And if you haven't been before, thanks for clicking on the button. Right, I've got a confession to make. I had pine, where it was actually a fir, fir tree, I thought it was a pine needle tree, um, tea a little while ago, and I'm addicted to it. I like it so much, I'm doing a little walk now to do some cooking. I'm gonna do Sunday, I'm gonna do a little bit of cooking. And I've just found this, I'll show you it on the way in this this is a route i always take but i don't notice these things and now i've seen it i'm having some of that we have some tea today today i don't know what this one is i don't i don't know names of these trees but these needles look nice just pick a few off uh, let's just take that Oi! Don't fall over. Then that'd do us, wouldn't it? Shove that in the old pocket. And that'd be good. It's really windy and cold. It's about three degrees. I've got a temperature gauge with me. So I'm gonna put that out when um, I find a spot. Go have a little walk about in the wood. This is my local wood. I come here often. I hope you're not getting too much wind on the mic. But I'm gonna have a little walk about in this wood, find someone to put the hammock up if I can't find a seat. If I can find a seat, I won't use the hammock and we'll get a cook on. Today, that's windy. We're gonna be doing um, boiled chicken and veg with some spices and that, and some herbs. Well, no herbs, mainly spices. So it's gonna be a, a slight pan fry. Um, get the chicken nice and browned up then we're going to do the rest by boiling with veg we've got a mixture of vegetables we'll get into that when i get it out and we'll talk about what i've got okay then i'm gonna go and find a spot so hopefully the wind would dead be dead and die in this um woodland because killing me out here in the field absolutely killing me in this field so back soon nice hot cup of needle tea will be good I've got to watch where I put my feet. Everyone walks their dogs down here. Looks like horses have been down here as well. So I don't want to fall in there. Yeah. Well, I've got out of that wind. I'm in the woods. I've dropped down the hill a bit. If you can see behind me, there's a slight slope and the wind's coming from the other direction behind it. So there's basically nothing. You can see a flutter in the trees. And then there's a big drop off, but I'm thinking I'm going to set up a hammock between this tree, this birch, and that beech tree over there behind the small one. I don't know if you can see it and point at it. That one. So let's get that set up and then I'll get back to you. Right, I found a little um, dip in the ground here where it's level on this hill. So that's good news. Let's take out what we're going to use. I've got the 14 centimetre billy today. Right then. So what have we got in here? Got a bag of veg. In this bag we've got potatoes, carrot, swede, um turnip cabbage and peas that's my veg and then in this bag we've got onions garlic and chicken empty pot so what we're going to do is fry up the contents of this which is the chicken onions and garlic add some spices and stuff and then we'll add this and add water to boil it so Let's start with some oil. All of my spices and everything are in this bag. I've written on most of it, some of it you can see what it is. So that's salt. Marker pen's coming off already. Here's some oil. So I'm just going to put a coating in the bottom. I've 
got a squirty thing, it's just easy, isn't it? This oil is, um, I had that much olive oil in it, and I haven't got any olive oil now, so I put rapeseed oil in to fill it. So that's what that is, the mixture. Let's get a cooker out, that'd help, wouldn't it? There's me going on like we're starting it, I haven't even got a cooker out. Right, we want a fairly warm heat on this. Get that nice and hot. I'll get a good sizzle on when this goes in. Just smell it so we know it's going well. Right, the chicken. I'm going to add the chicken at the same time. I know you should probably do your onions and that first, but I'm not doing that. Let's get out a spatula. Hey, 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 where's your spatulas? No, it's not in there. It's the spatula. these chicken juices out, get it browned, it'll be finished in a boil so it's a one pot cooking basically if you ever want to do cooking like this just buy a one pot cookbook get loads of good stuff in them I've been given some for my birthdays over the years I keep stirring because I know it's it's gonna stick if I don't it's, it's hot so I'm gonna get some salt in there it's about I don't know a teaspoon or less I don't like it too salty but I want some flavor And then some turmeric. About a spoonful again. Let's give that a stir. That gives us a nice orange, yellow. It should be a quick meal until it starts to boil, all this part. It smells good already. You see the wind direction, it's coming in from the west as it always does around here, blowing it across, but it's not severe, so I'm not gonna put a windshield on it. Let's get back and do some stirring, and I wanna have a chat about cooking and Sundays, because I might make a Sunday a cooking day. I suppose you could say this dish is more on the Asian side, Indian type. But it's, a, it's not a rice with it, it's going to have veg with it. Cooking on hills, eh? That's what I should call it. Because everywhere I go is a hill. Yeah, so as I was saying, I'm thinking we need a name for this Sunday cooking. I can't, I can't put cooking videos up in the week, I've been told. Des has told me off. He says he gets too hungry and he has to eat and he's on a diet. So I'm doing a Sunday video for you, Des. It is Sunday. This will probably won't go up for a few hours. I'll get home and do the editing. But whenever I do a cooking, let's make Sunday a cooking day where I'm putting up some cooking videos. So I'd like everyone to give me a, a name for that um, spot, basically. Sunday cooking, whatever you think it would be a good catchy title. And then I'll go through whatever people decide, pick the top three, post them up in the comments so you can see what I think is the top three out of your decisions. And then you can all have a vote on the top three. So then we'll pick a winner from that. It's starting to burn, let's get back in there. Mm. 
Now I really want to add warm water to this, not cold water, so I'm gonna have to quickly just do some some um water heating. So I'm gonna have to take this off unless I break out another cooker, but there's not a lot of room and it's on a hill, so I'm gonna just quickly take this off to do that. You know, when you're out in the wilds, you do what you've got to do. I mean, at home, you'd have the other burner on, wouldn't you? But we ain't got that luxury. My smallest pot is my cup. I just want a bit of water heated up first to get this going. I still spill it. I spill everything I pour out of those things. I'm going to put some of that jeer in there now. I've got a little bit of chilli powder because I like my stuff spicy, but I'm only putting a tiny bit in because it is really hot. That's quite a lot. Um, oh well, it'd be spicy, wouldn't it? Yeah. This is gonna take this is cumin seeds crushed, yeah. Gonna put a whole spoon in that. That's our main flavour basically. Give that a really good stir. Looking like a curry, isn't it? I just want to heat this water up quick. I don't want to get another cooker out, so I'm just going to shove it on there. Right, while that's boiling that water, I don't want to boil it, I just want to get it hot, so when I put it in there, it's not super cold, because it's cold at the moment. This is looking good, it smells lovely. Quick and easy cooking, that's the way I like it. It's simple, I mean, I did prepare all my stuff before I come out. Preparing it out, you've got to carry more stuff. You've got to have chopping boards and all that, just to chop it up. I like to do it if I can at home, but if I'm out and I have to do it, of course you do it. Let's just warm that water up so I can get my finger in it and feel warmth. Then it's gonna go in this pot and back on. That's warm enough. It's on a higher heat now, but it's got fluid in it, so that's fine. Right, let's get some veg in there. That's what we need to do now. So we've got the veggie bag, we're going to throw it all in. Then we have to top up water more as well. Need to keep an eye on that because it's going to start to boil and it'll pop the lid and I'll, I'll lose some of my fluid. So I need to turn that down when I get to the boil. Let's go and see what the temperature is. It's cold, but I'm out of the wind. I swear that was a negative figure when I was up there in that wind. That had to have been like a minus six or minus seven. It was freezing. Yeah, it's not too bad. I know I'm on a tree, I'm on 6.6. .6. But the tree holds warmth as well, so that's why it's always warmer in the woods. You don't get frost on the ground, really, because the trees are holding the heat. So this is me. I'm set up. There's my hammock, which I'm going to sit in in a minute and have a chill. And there's my cooking on my little table. So let's get that to a boil and I'll get back to you. This is coming to the boil. I've had to put a windshield around it because this has been running now since we last looked at it for 25 minutes and it's only just coming to the boil. It's so cold. As you can see, it's going to take a while. I've put the gas on full, full blast. I couldn't get anything out of it. You know, I wasn't getting anywhere. I, went, I don't know. I mean, it's possible that the gas is a winter mix but coming from the gas to the actual um, 
stove whether it's doing some weird stuff because um, it's only six six degrees Celsius so this shouldn't be a problem on a winter mix it's just that I've had to go full power just to get anything out of it it smells nice I have to say that it does smell nice yeah got a rolling boil that's what we wanted having that lid that way around so much easier to remove even without a glove because this doesn't get super hot until it gets to really really boiling now get hot then but to let some steam out you can just knock it to the side and you've got yourself a vent but i think in this temperature i'm gonna let that go until i hear the top of my lid tapping and i know it's getting too much to push it up and then i can release a bit yeah do that in a minute let's get some water in my cup for the pine needles Now one of my subscribers, my 200th subscriber I think he was, Rob Easy, he um, said on the last video about the pine tea that I should um, boil the water in there, steep the pine needles and I said I'd give that a go. But the problem is with this temperature, as soon as that's boiled and I put pine needles in it, it's going to get cold quick so I'm going to have to keep it on the gas. I don't have a lot of choice in this weather. And we can get this going when this is done. Or I could take out another cooker. I've got a, a Tranger in the bag. A little triangle. I'm going to take some of these pine needles home because the girlfriend wants to have a go on it. She saw the video and she thought it was impressive. So she said she wants to go. She wants to see what it's like. I think that's enough. So I'm going to put them away. That should probably do it, shouldn't it? That'll steep into there nice, I can get them out. Let's get the Trangier out. Just be quicker, wouldn't it, to do it like that. How many Trangier burners have I got? I've got three with me. I'll be taking a lot of this home. I have a little bit here and I'll just carry it out. Right, have a little chill in the hammock. That's what I brought it for, so I don't have to stand all the time. Oh, hey, love it. Can't get enough of this hammock. The DD Frontline XL Multicam. I love it. My favorite hammock I've ever had. Got the old stuff cooking up. You can see that flame underneath the cup every time I swing back I can see the steam coming out of my 14 centimetre zebra got a little um, cook station going on haven't we yeah love that little um, bivy table as well because it'd be very difficult to do this on the ground with this leaf cover you'd have to prepare a ground but having that surface to cook on is fantastic so with the coldness we've got and a little bit of breeze that tea is going to take a little while to come up to a boil and then I'll let it boil for just a short while and then leave it to cool a bit and get those needles out. Looking forward to the taste of these, never had these ones, I'm not sure what it is. There's a few of those trees up at that area because that's where the old skiing slope used to be and there's a few of them trees at the entrance and a couple scattered about. It's a pine, um, they've got pine cones on them so I'm not sure exactly what the what the tree is but it's got good sap in it, it makes very good fat wood that tree so we we'll have to investigate further on that unless anybody knows drop it in the comments if they recognize that tree and the name of it much appreciated we're doing a camp soon with dave december camp hopefully we'll get some really cold weather he wants to get out his army tent his five man arctic tent i'll give that a test he's got a wood burner that goes in it so we're not going to be cold we'll probably be too hot if honest because he's tested it and it's really warm it needs to be in a very cold condition so we're looking forward to doing that and if we don't do that we'll probably do a hammock camp um, and find a nice location
But I'm looking forward to going in this tent. It looks fantastic. Got a ball going on that. So I'm gonna have to have a look at that pine needle tea. Oh no. Talk about, is it meant to flipping burn? That's my silicon handle, it's on fire. What the hell? Fireproof? I know, they're not fireproof, are they? Well, don't put it in an open flame then, perhaps. Anyway, let's have a look at this. It's looking good. I always go on how the potatoes are feeling when they're super soft. I think I'm, I know everything's cooked. Right. Let's have a look at this tea. Now I've destroyed my cup. It's going to be too hot, too hot to put near my mouth. Well, I'll tell you something now, putting that water in the mess, it really has helped the uh, pot, it hasn't sooted it up or blackened it at all. Ah, oh, doesn't smell as good as the last one I had. It's too hot to try, so I'll come back to that. Let it, let it just sit in there and steep a bit. Yeah, so we're going to have cooking Sundays. But I don't know what to call it. I'm thinking and thinking what we can call this event. Sunday cooking on my channel. I should say our channel. Seems that if you lot weren't there, it wouldn't be a channel, would it? So that's why you need to decide. It's your channel. You come up with a name. Get me out straight. I like a tramp, don't I? You come up with a name and then we'll go from that. I'll give you like my top three to pick and you can vote on it so you do get your say it's just i'm gonna have to pick so you can't i don't know i've got to whittle it down somehow so looking forward to it looking forward to it yes yeah, drop them in the comments what you think you know anything you know just put you put down what you think you never know it could be catching Pe people are like it right this is cooled down enough to try it Let's have a look. Destroyed my cup. Oh well, I'm gonna have to cut them off. They burn, so they're no good, are they? It doesn't have a lot of a lot of smell. It's got it's quite mellow. It's a lot more subtle than the other one I had. Oh, it's got a nice, long-lasting aftertaste. Really, really mellow. It's all right, actually, but leaving it in there, because that's gone, you know, it's not been long. That's nearly cold. That's lukewarm. That's lovely totally different different species of tree though you can see the same as the last set I did on the other pine needle video which was a fir tree apparently um, you can take, it takes the colour out of the needles they go more yellow when they've been steeped for a while so I recommend it it's good not as good as the first one I had but it's nice I think it's good. The only thing you've got to worry about is yew trees. You don't want to be um, boiling up a yew tree because they're quite poisonous, I think, yew trees. So I'm not sure what this is. This is an evergreen. But I don't know. It looks like a yew tree to me. I don't know. So I'm not going to ever try one of those unless I knew differently. There's another big one over there. But they're quite dangerous, poisonous. You, even chopping and cutting the wood and sanding wood of yew tree, you can get poison from it. You know, enough to kill you. Anyway, let's see how this is doing. The food. Oh, 
look at that. That's what we want to see, isn't it? Give it a stir. That's lovely, starting to really mash down now. That's not far off done. I don't want it all mashed up. I want to have my veg so it's got a little bit of crunch in it. don't want it all pulpy. I'm really pleased with that. Well, there's the chicken. Let's break that chicken. Oh, that's super soft. Look at that. Lovely, isn't it? Let's try it. Ah. Oh. That's just falling apart in my mouth. Yeah, I say that's done. Nice big bit of potato there. It's not super soft. Let me just try a bit and see if it's super hard. Don't feel like it is. No, that's got the texture of a boiled potato. So we're good, we're good, that's going off. Shut down. Remove this, let that cool down naturally. Put that on there. So that's it, another day, another day of cooking. Another day of cooking in the woods. Got the pot there, I'm taking it home because I need to get this uploaded, so I need to go and edit so I can go up today. Thanks for watching, as usual. If you enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so you don't miss anything in the future. Um, if you want to put a name down for what you think we should call Cooking Sunday, please put it in the comments and then I'll go through them all. And I say by Wednesday, I'll have a look and then we'll do a roundup so we can get it ready for next Sunday. Thanks a lot. Appreciate the viewing. Appreciate all the support and I will speak to you as soon as I get another video up. Just at 700 subs, so thank you very much. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.